Unicorns, welcome back to another stylicious and delicious cake and candy episode. We are back with another cake pop tutorial, which is also a set tutorial. We are creating a winter cake pop family and I'm super excited to share you with this little penguin guy here with his super cute cat. So let the fun begin. As usual, I start this tutorial with an already crumbled and mixed cake pop dough. If you want to learn more about the recipe, click in the info box in the top right corner. To create the uh, penguin uh, shape, I used my uh, blue cake pop shaper to get the basic shape and to get the perfect size. And then I used my hands and my palms to make it as round as possible. And as you can see, that takes a while until you have the perfect cake ball. pop stick into the coating and push it halfway through the cake ball and make sure that you get rid of all the excess by swiping it away gently. Next we dip the cake pop in black candy melt or candy coating. Uh, try to avoid dipping too uh, deeply because uh, the black color is really uh, difficult to get off the stick. It always looks kind of nasty and make sure you get rid of all the excess coating by um, tapping it on the, on the glass or moving your hands back and forth very quickly. And if you have any excess, make sure you get rid of that as well. Now we're doing the little penguin's face. Uh, I took some white um, fondant or you can also use with uh, gum paste and I roll it out very thinly and I had used a very small um, hard cookie cutter. And by the way, you find all the materials that I use and the colors that I use in the description box below, as usual. And then I cut out one, or depending on how many penguins you made, mm, several heart shapes. And uh, then I used a brush and a little bit of water to glue it to my cake pop. And then make sure you place the heart shape uh, right into the center of the cake pop that it looks quite balanced. This part is definitely my favorite part because now we're doing the penguin's head. I used pink, purple and a mix of both colors uh, to create my pastel tones for the caps. And I started by rolling out a thin layer of fondant and um, I, I also used some cornstarch to make sure that the fondant does not stick to my surface. And here is a circle cookie cutter, which is definitely much bigger than the cake pop, but that is completely fine. You will see later why it needs to be that size. It's a little bit like the fondant principle you have when you're covering a cake with fondant, which is definitely bigger than the regular cake. And now we are apply, um, adjusting that on the head by using a little bit of water and um, yeah, the camera angle is not the best, <laughs> sorry. And um, here we're now gently pushing it down like you would do that with a cake. And then you can see, although it looked very big from the very beginning, it now looks totally fine. And everything that is quite um, uneven or doesn't look too nice, <laughs> I show you my little trick here. You can use a knife and then cut off all the parts that doesn't look too beautifully. And this is what I did here. I just gently, of course, you do not want to uh, distract um, um, the, the surface, but gently uh, you get rid of all the uneven parts of, um, yeah, of the hat or the cap. By the way, if you don't want to miss out on my weekly episodes, uh, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. And to give the head uh, a more of a three-dimensional realistic look, I took the same color um, of the fondant and I rolled it out to a very, very, very thin sausage and I cut out or I cut it 
then I used the more even parts of it and then I used a little bit of water and I went around the corner of uh, the hat of the cap it's actually a cap Nina it's not a hat it's a cap and then I glued or adjusted um, the sauce sausage <laughs> sausage uh, the fondant uh, stripe um, to the cap um, and I think it looks kind of cute it's it's some sort of a of, of a little detail and those details really really work well on those um, collections since every cap is incomplete without a pom-pom I just used a little bit of the same fondant and rolled out a little bit of a um, bundle of fondant and used a little bit of water again and press it gently through the cake pop. Here we have some random snowflake sugar decor. I found them when I was cleaning uh, my kitchen so sometimes you find, find great stuff when you clean your house. Uh, I used a little bit of uh, some candy coating um, under the heart shape, which is basically the face, of course, and this is supposed to be the penguin's feet, which is pretty, pretty cute, I think, and it goes pretty well with the rest of the set because we also have a snowflake theme, so this works quite well. Now we're going to do the spout of the penguin, and I did that with the same colors uh, that we had in front of them, and I cut out a octothorpe shape it sounds so weird is that the real word i have no idea i had to look it up in the dictionary because i didn't know the english word for it and it sounds weird i don't know you can leave a comment in the description box below and tell me what that what that is for a shape in english that would be great highly appreciated and then we use a little bit of white candy coating to attach our spouts to the cake pop And now we're doing some sort of final uh, painting decorations because we have a black theme here going on. I decided to put some more black colors around uh, the spout and uh, to make it a little bit more fitting and to stand out a little bit more. Finally, I added some black dots that are the penguin's eyes and painted some rose colored cheeks with some powdered colors. And here we have our little penguin guys in pastel pink purple colors. I really like that. So CandyCons, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like and leave a comment down below. I see you all in the next videos and always remember, stay sweet and stay true. Bye.